Hello everyone, this is the paper titled Online Nonlinear Centroidal MPC for Humanoid Robots Payload Carrying with Contact Stable Force Parameterization. Our story begins with the usual three layered locomotion architecture for humanoid robots, in which the first layer generates nominal contacts. The trajectory adjustment layer modifies these, con these uh, contacts and other references based on the current robot states and passes it to a whole body control layer which generates the desired joint positions, velocities or torques based on the robot's low level control architecture. In a previous work, bearing one of my co-authors presented in the previous ECRA, the trajectory adjustment layer was reformulated as a centroidal MBC properly. The centroidal MPC problem uses as a prediction model the, con the centroidal momentum dynamics and contact location dynamics. In addition, two sets of constraints, one is highlighted in red, are included. The first is a constraint on the contact ranges feasibility. The second and specifies the maximum allowable contact location error. The cost function penalizes the tracking error while also regularizing the contact forces. In our current work, we want to use this centroidal MVC to allow a humanoid robot to walk while carrying a payload. In this sense, we want to mitigate the effects of the payload while keeping the tracking performances reasonable. We assume that we have an estimate of the payload as a form of contact ranges at the hands and we want to simplify the MPC problem formulation. To do so, we consider the payload momentum effects in the prediction model. In addition, we design a cost term in the cost function that handles the, the, the disturbance attenuation task. We simplify the problem by eliminating the previously highlighted constraint namely the contact ranges feasibility constraint, thanks to a suitable parameterization previously introduced by one of my co-authors in the Transactions of Robotics paper cited. The reformulated the problem using the parameter as the optimization variable. The prediction model includes the effects of the payload highlighted in blue on the centroidal momentum, we have only the maximum allowable contact location error constraints and we have a specific cost term that attenuates the disturbance while regularizing the parameter so ensuring that the contact forces at the feet are in the interior of the of the friction cone the this uh, centroidal MPC, which we call the parameterized centroidal MPC problem, highlighted here and compared to the original formulation, is then applied to a toy problem of a mass with two feet walking in the X direction. The obtained trajectories are smoother, the tracking error is, and the tracking performance is in terms of the center of mass and contact locations is better, and the computational times are slightly enhanced. Finally, we apply this to the humanoid robot platform ICAP3. We allow this robot, the ICAP, to carry a box which, in, which houses, which has in, in its interior, it's in its side, uh, a 2 kilogram weight to mimic the effect of a persistent disturbance. The robot is able to perform the nominal contact uh, locations with slight adjustment due to the payload without falling over. The tracking performance is, is nicer. We in addition compare it while walking without carrying a payload to the original formulation. We compare the computational time. A slight enhancement in terms of on average 5 to 10 milliseconds computational times are gained by removing the contact visibility constraints. Thank you.